No, no, we're not inviting you. Oh. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> she looks like a character. That is the incomparable Rose Hartman, a documentary that was the directorial debut of Otis Mass, who is actually from here and in town to help us to talk about the Jacksonville Documentary Festival that is something brand new in yes. town. So first directorial debut of a feature yes. documentary. What's that like? How does that happen? It's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a new world for me. Um, I've been shooting commercials for 20 years and national and regional and such, but this is my first time directing a feature and it, they are very different worlds and learning the whole festival circuit and everything and, and you know, ha being a, a son of Jacksonville and still being very connected to the city, even though I'm in New York, you know, I, I would love to come home and, you know, shoot. Okay, shoot. so you would actually come back and maybe shoot commercials? I would love to shoot interested? spots for, uh, okay. for people around That's Jacksonville. Good to know, but but this, this film, I mean, it captured me just in the trailer alone. Who's Rose and why do we care about Rose? <laughs> Rose is the most famous photographer you've never heard of. Um, when you see the array of photos that she shot over her 40-year uh, career span, uh, you know a lot of them, and you're like, oh my god, I, I mean, that's how I kind of fell in love with the subject, was seeing her at a book signing and mm. knowing all of these photos, like oh, yeah, Bianca Jagger on the white horse. Iconic pictures. That JFK Jr. that was on the cover of Time, and you know, there's, and, and, there's so many, and she was also one of the first people to ever uh, document backstage intrigue. Uh, you know, no one else was at the backstage at Donna Karen's show except for like her and one other photographer. I'm trying to put this delicately, but would you call Rose sassy? <laughs> well, as a proud Jew, I, I, I call her uh, someone who has a lot of chutzpah. Chutzpah. She, chutzpah. She's got okay. a lot of character. She's very entertaining. It's not just about the work. Her work is incredible, and, and she's a photographer that people should know about. Uh -huh. But it's her personality that makes this such an entertaining and fun. It really is fun. I mean, I've only seen a few minutes of the of the trailer, and it is so much fun to watch her because even some of the people you interviewed, like, I don't know how you got interviews with these people, but uh, some of them, like Carolina... Carolina Herrera. Carolina Herrera. My goodness. I had a great producer. I have a great producer, uh, Bob Fisher. And uh, he got me in there, and, and, and honestly, interviewing Carolina Herrera was, was like... Big. Interviewing royalty. She was so poised and elegant, and it was my favorite interview of the entire movie. Yours is just one of the documentaries that will be featured at the document, Documentary Festival, and that's a new thing here in town. It's, it's the first annual, and that's why I, I was really excited to, to be involved. We, we showed at South by, we world premiered at South by Southwest a couple uh, weeks ago, about a month ago. So I'm hoping that you know anything that you know, any attention we've brought on to the film will also be able to share with the festival and make this a an annual uh, event. Elizabeth Lawrence is the uh, coordinator of this festival, and I, I want this to be her first of many. And so I, I hope that I can help her. Um, and then from here, you're on to another big. Event. After this, uh, May 1st, I fly to Toronto for Hot Docs, which is the second largest documentary film festival on the planet. Uh, wow. It's a global film festival. It's our international premiere. Well, maybe one day ours will be that big. We can only just hope. If you want more information, you can go to jacksdocfest.org. We'll be back. Rock